hi guys welcome back today we will take a look at uh, the pwm in the indiv individual mode and uh, in the individual mode uh, we will take a look at how to program it and uh, how we can uh, use it to manipulate uh, the colors of an rgb led and uh, let's start the programming and in the individual mode uh, we have to load a sequence value in each channel manually let's see how we can do that first of all i'm going to create a new project so go into the pc open the c directory here we have nrfsdk open the examples folder go into my projects and uh, we will use this uh, previous code but uh, this time i'm gonna change it uh, in another way so copy this and paste it here and let's rename it open this folder and uh, go into the PC of 10040 because I'm using NRF52832. Open the blank, open SES folder, and uh, go into PWM driver. Open this PM project file. Okay, here we have this code, and I'm just going to remove some of the stuff. Let's remove uh, most of the stuff so that you can see uh, how everything's working. I'm going to remove that and uh, let's rename it as PWM in it and remove this part okay so we have this and uh, let's remove some other code as well we will remove this function we will see how we can do it in the individual mode and uh, let's remove these two functions from here now we can uh, rewrite the code for the individual and we have the most of the basic code and from here we will write start writing the individual mode code so you can see here we don't have any function to call right now because uh, I will change the name of the function so in the PWM in it let's leave it like this and uh, this time I'm going to use some LEDs so let's start from here let's change it to 100 and uh, also I'm just going to need the delay so include okay and uh, I have uh, configured it to 100 top value and uh, let's change this function first so that everything is set and good to go today we are going to work on a RGB LED so I'm just going to create some LEDs okay we have created three LEDs and now we are going to assign them here the first one is the red so LED second one is green and third one is the blue one and the fourth channel is not going to be used so we will place this constant here NRFX PWM pin not used okay this is done let's see if there is anything else we have to remove this handler and write null here okay and uh, let's change it to individual okay the mode is set and this function is cleared now we, do, we don't need to change it everything is uh, set and good to go with this initialization function and we are going to call this function after initializing the LEDs we will initialize the PWM okay now comes the main part so now we have to now we have to create uh, some sequence values and then we will assign them to each channel and then we will see how we can assign them individually to each channel so first of all we have to create a struct which is going to hold these values for all the four channels I'm just going to assign four of these values to these four channels for each instance you can assign the values individually and uh, in the code you will see how we can assign each channel uh, a value and then we can then pass it to the main function and then it's going to assign it to that channel so for that we have to create the sequence let's name it as sequence 0 
and we are going to assign these sequence values here next is the length then we have to tell it how many times it needs to repeat okay so the next thing is we have to create a function which is going to uh, take the duty cycle and then it's going to pass these values by a function so let's create a function Once we are going to receive these values from these three channels, we will see if they are within our specific range where we want to set. So for that, we will check for each channel. If the value is out of range, then we are going to set it back. And if it's within the range, that is from 0 to 100, then we are going to just set the value for that channel we are going to use a similar function for each channel so I'm just going to paste it two more times here and uh, here we are just going to change it to green and the last one is changed to blue and once it's saved once the values are changed and assigned, we're just going to call the function. So we'll pass in the sequence, number of times I want to play it. It's just one, and then it's going to be looped. So I will use the flag for that. And that's it. We are done here. OK, so what's happening is we are just simply seeing if it's uh, if the value is out of range then we will assign it the final range which is 100 from 0 to 100 we have to assign these values so after these values are assigned and the sequence is uh, updated then we will pass this to this playback function uh, which is just simply going to update these values and uh, once they are updated the new values are going to take effect now we need to call this function so let's let's call it here in the while loop and we will update the values regularly here we are calling this this function here we are calling this function so don't get confused if say, this is some built-in function so for the RGB we have to pass three values in terms of numbers so I'm just passing this for now and I will give some delay let's say 1000 milliseconds delay so this is going to turn on all the sequence LEDs so it's going to uh, make a white light because uh, RGB colors when they, all of the three lights are mixed together they, are, they give a white color just give it two values to see if it works so okay once uh, this is done the last thing we need to do here is we have to change the channel numbers as well so I forgot to do that so make sure you change the channel numbers so it's going to be channel 1 and this is going to be channel 2 and once it's saved uh, control process to save and uh, okay so click uh, on the target and uh, click on the connect and uh, before connecting I would like to tell you something that I have connected an RGB LED and uh, this RGB LED is connected with uh, pin number 22, 23 and 24 respectively and uh, we are going to see what's going to happen when we turn on all the LEDs and turn off uh, with the help of PWM and then we are going to change it as well so everything is uh, good to go let's erase the device and then download it and here you can see all of the three lights when they are turned on it's giving almost a lot white light and uh, now let's change some program to see uh, how it's working 
okay so I'm going to change this to 0 and uh, let's turn on the first LED and then I'm going to turn on the second then I'm going to change it to another color and now let's mix up the colors you can change uh, these values to any other values and uh, make some new colors like I'm just doing it here let's say okay so these colors are might be enough so let's build it again so go on to build and once it's built click to the target and uh, connect after connecting with the target erase all and download it so here you can see all these three colors then some other different colors let me change this value let me add another color here so okay build erase all and download and here you can see we have different colors and you can see in the violet color as well so I hope so you have learned something new today uh, this would be enough for today and uh, this code along with the, the information of the functions will be available for download so be sure to check it out in the description of this video and uh, if you are new to my channel please be sure to subscribe to my channel if you like this video hit the like button thank you very much for watching see you in the next video